Hi everyone, welcome to another Howtex unboxing video. Today we have the Samsung Gear S3 Classic. So this is the latest Samsung Gear, uh, except it's important to note this is the Classic and not the Frontier. So this is the one that uh, doesn't come with the LTE built-in. Uh, this is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled one. So uh, let's take a look inside the package here. Uh, first you've got to unpeel it and you have this nice cylinder which is also sealed so do not accept if it's broken well I'm gonna break it okay and uh, this is the silver one made in Vietnam interestingly enough okay let's take a look inside Ooh, very nice. So, what do we have here? We have the watch, which is basically coming in on top of its charger already. Let's pop this guy out. And here's the charger, which I think is similar to the S2 charger, except uh, perhaps uh, slightly larger because it's a larger face. Uh, I guess that's just to keep it from rattling around. Disposable. Uh, and here's the watch itself. Uh, so we have some plastic on here to keep everything in place. Uh, very nice screen. It has a movable bezel. Uh, two buttons. I think it's a home and a back button. And uh, a nice leather strap genuine leather strap as you can see here uh, and it's also 22 millimeter so the key thing with this unlike previous uh, gear watches uh, this is a standard uh, typical watch band that you can replace with any other 22, 22 millimeter watch band that you can buy on the market so let's pop this off get this guy open here we go now you can see and it has a nice EC quick release pin here. So if you pull that in, you can pop this open just like any other uh, watch band. So you can go down to the store, buy a new watch band for every day of the week and swap them out pretty easily. Um, it is a nice band. It's pretty thick though. Um, and uh, apparently they've rubberized the edges here uh, to uh, seal in the strap, but it looks pretty good. Uh, stainless steel clasp. Um, I personally like a metal bracelet on my uh, watches, except for this one, obviously. Um, but uh, I would probably replace this if I were going to keep it. So that's the watch. Let's take what, take a look at what else is in here. Uh, it just should pop open, um, and we have quick start guide uh, in the bag. Should be the charger. Um, interesting. So this one is the uh, UK style plug um, and uh, it's a 0.7 amp so it's it's not a huge output but for a watch you don't need like a 2 amp charger. Um, for some reason it actually says travel adapter um, but it's a Samsung and it has the mini USB plug here which goes into the back of this guy. So if you want to charge, plug that guy in, place the watch on here. And the cool thing is unlike say the Apple Watch, this one is made to stand up with the f with the watch uh, facing. So you could put it on your bedstand and see without uh, having to reach over and flip it up, which is kind of a cool feature. And so uh, let's see, anything else in here? We have built into the uh, case here we have this little notch for putting an additional strap this is the S size so this should be the L size yeah so depending on your wrist size you can adjust um, and it's actually also labeled small here um, you can see the difference in length and anything else I think that's pretty much it quick start guide warranty for some reason it's written in Arabic um, but 
you get the idea we never actually look at these things anyway okay so uh, let's take a look at the watch now um, unfortunately there is no iOS app yet for the watch uh, although it is rumored to be coming very soon they've done a beta test here we go it's powering up um, so you need to load the uh, gear app on your Android phone uh, the good news is that it doesn't have to be a Samsung phone so if you go to Google Play Store you can grab the app and it should sync so let's put this down move this stuff out of the way and take a look okay so I've uh, got my Android phone here this is a OnePlus 3T and I've downloaded the Samsung gear app uh, as instructed here on the phone once it uh, on the uh, watch once it loads up so I'll open this up and connect to gear and let's see if we can find it oh confirm okay I assume that's correct setup complete okay so that's actually not too bad uh, and now you can see some data on the watch itself so battery charge how much storage is free so this is a fresh out of the box gear and already 2.4 gigabytes of the 4 gigabytes are taken up that's kinda not so great um, the RAM I guess that's good it's only using up half even uh, without using any uh, apps you can suggest apps you can download apps here's some of the view of some of the apps available if you'd like to get additional apps specifically for your phone uh, it's key to notice to note that this is the uh, Tinzen OS and not the uh, Android Wear OS that they used previously in the older Samsung watches uh, settings we can do watch faces choose all kinds of cool stuff here uh, my photo etc uh, you can adjust the notifications send content etc so let's just take a look directly at the watch since now we can actually play with it so I'm a uh, hardcore uh, Apple watch person this is actually my first gear uh, accessory that I've tried out so uh, let's try the tutorial you can turn the bezel that's similar to the uh, digital crown here on the Apple watch it's your main sort of uh, selector back key swipe down swipe up home key to view apps press again to go back Oh, pretty good okay enjoy your gear so I guess this is the default setting you can hold down and see several uh, sort of presets and the cool thing is you just turn the bezel to select between them so uh, you can go digital you can go analog you can go high-tech you can go low-tech And you can of course get more watch faces through the app um, so it's pretty cool uh, this is the s3 classic uh, as you may know the frontier is a bit more macho it's darker it has kind of more of a sports watch look um, but functionality way it's almost the same except the key difference is that that one has the LTE so you can use it even when you don't have your phone paired with it this one has to have a phone paired with it so it can communicate through uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth so let's try active classic pretty nice uh, it's not quite at the state that you would mistake it for a mechanical watch but it looks pretty good um, okay so let's see we have no notifications um, mostly because we turned them all off but uh, we can cycle through here we can see the weather let's see Add city on your phone. Oh, you have to. Oh, it actually popped up the phone. That's interesting. So let's try uh, San Francisco. Oh, and now it shows up on the watch. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what other surprises it has in for us. Um, add a contact, create a reminder. 
In this case, we only have one contact in this phone. And you can call them um, or send a message. Let's see the message interface. You can do a voice message, you can do an emoji, or you can actually try to type. And the typing, write text by hand. Okay. So you can do um, kind of your old school T9 uh, typing. So let's say, hi there. You know, when was the last time you had a, uh, a non-smartphone where you had to actually type in by typing the numbers? It's been eight or nine years for me. <laughs> okay, so you could just do that and then hit send. Um, since that's not a real phone number, I won't send it. Um, and then I think you can just hit this to go back. Okay, so here we are. We'll go back through. Uh, create reminders. Uh, you can see your appointment book. Um, News briefing, you can see news from Flipboard. Uh, here's media player. I don't know if there's any music loaded in here. There's only one song and it's that annoying Chinese song that's built into our one plus three phone. Keeping is, this is coming from the phone speaker, not from the watch. mute. Ah, and here's how you switch from one to the other. So let's... see how that sounds. So this is actually coming from the... from the watch. Ah, so the key thing is, it depends on where the music is stored. So this is a song that's built into the watch. That was the one that was built into the phone. So it's not the music output source. It's, the, it's not the sound source. It's actually the file source that you're selecting from. You can add widgets as well. So those are kind of the shortcuts here. Uh, we can bring up our notifications again by going to the left. Um, if you're at the home at the watch face, you can bring up the home screen to see your apps. And you can scroll through these recent apps, phones, contacts, weather, etc. And you can do multiple pages here. So the other thing is you could actually cheat and say, okay, I want to go straight to the gallery. Um, we can add photos. So in this case, I have to sync my photos here. Um, okay, so it's looking pretty cool. Um, there's also a second set. If you go here, you can see the first set. Um, let's uh, check out the settings as well. So you can adjust the style, sound and vibrations. You can actually select the vibration mode, device settings, display settings, Brightness, for example, auto brightness, screen timeout, etc. Not quite intuitive. Um, it would be cool if you just had it on that, and it would the dial would start working automatically. But you just have to remember to to basically click in and then get to the part where you can adjust. Uh, let's go back one more. Uh, there is one really cool thing on the, uh, there's a couple interesting uh, shortcuts you can set here. Wake up gesture, touch sensitivity, auto open apps, etc. So this one is really cool. So uh, rather than needing to touch your bare skin like you do on most smartphone screens, you can actually just make it pressure dependent. So if you're wearing gloves, for example, um, because really as it's a wearable, it's not something that you would only be using indoors or you know when you're stopped in your car you might be running down the street uh, wearing gloves because it's the middle of winter and in that case you don't want to have to pull your glove off every time you need to check anything on your watch click that okay so that's on uh, let's give that a try actually so in this case 
you know, obviously if I touch it, it works. Let me try the sensitivity if it works. Maybe this isn't hard enough for me. Yeah, so it actually works. Not too bad. So that's ha handy if you don't have bare skin touching anything. Um, so that's the basics on this uh, Samsung Gear S3. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I definitely want to play around with it some more. Uh, give it a try. All the different features, try some of the apps. As far as the watch goes, it's nice and heavy. Um, pretty durable, has a heart rate monitor. Um, band is maybe not my favorite, but uh, it's at least good quality. Um, so let's take a look how it looks on your wrist. So looks pretty good. Turns on when you flip it. Personally, I definitely would change the band, but not too bad. So here you can adjust your uh, couple settings. So you can put it in airplane mode. You can uh, go straight jump to the music. You can put it to silent. You can adjust the brightness. And there you have it. Here is the S3 Classic uh, by Samsung. I really like it. Uh, I like the bezel. Uh, personally, I think I prefer the Frontier finish and design to this one. Uh, the fact that that one also has LTE is not a big deal to me. Having an Apple Watch, I'm used to uh, to uh, always having my phone with me and using it to connect through there. So um, that one, I guess if you're jogging a lot or you know at the gym, it, you might prefer to leave your uh, watch in the locker. But personally, I think it's not that big a deal. I never want to leave my phone away. Um, so anyway, that's the basics on it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, if you have any feedback, if you use this watch for any length of time and you have some good shortcuts or tips that you'd like us to know about, please also leave a comment. Please be sure to uh, subscribe for more unboxing and how-to videos for Samsung and many other popular smartwatches and phones. See you next time. Thanks. Today we have a comparison video with two smartwatches. On the right we have the Samsung Gear S3 Classic and on the left here we have the Fossil.